For this three minute pro, we're going to cover the Pentax ME Super. Introduced in 1979, it superseded the old Pentax ME. It had aperture priority automatic exposure and manual. This was a tremendously successful camera and vast numbers of these were sold due to its competitive price. It was in production until 1984. As you can see, this is very compact. The Olympus OM-1 sparked competition between manufacturers to produce the smallest 35mm SLR. On the right of the top plate is the wind-on lever. Next to this are the exposure controls. And these were quite different to anything produced before. You can see you've got the L setting here, which is the shutter lock. Auto allows you to set the aperture and the camera will set the shutter speed. Manual allows you to set both aperture and shutter speed. You set the aperture on the lens and you set the shutter speed using these buttons. That increases the shutter speed, makes it faster, and that sets slower shutter speeds. You can only see the shutter speed set via the LEDs in the viewfinder. In manual, it also tells you whether the picture is over or underexposed. The ME Super has a metal vertical running shutter which allows a fast flash sync speed of 125th of a second and a top shutter speed of a 2000th. Next is the flash sync speed of 125th. Also there's B that allows you to do long exposures. In the middle on the top of the pentaprism is a hot shoe and you can see there's a contact for a dedicated flash gun. This doesn't do anything other than set the shutter speed to 125th of a second. On the left is the rewind lever and the ISO setting here and this sets the exposure compensation. The front left of the camera has the X-Sync socket so you can plug in wires for uh, attaching your flash gun. On the right hand side is the self timer and you can see here's the button for releasing the lens. The Pentax says the K-mount bayonet, which was the most widely used lens mount of the time. Not only did you have independent lens manufacturers such as Sigma and Tamron, you also had other manufacturers such as Ricoh, Casina and Shinon making lenses. On the base plate you can see the battery cover, you can see the tripod socket, there's the clutch for rewinding the film, and there are also contacts for setting the auto winder and fixing that on. Loading film is very simple. Just pull up the rewind lever. This opens up and you can see the inside of the camera there. Pop the film in just here and you can pull it across. And these are, this is a very easy uh, way of latching the film on. You just push it into these little white sprockets here. You get that firm. Wind on a frame, close the back, wind on a couple of frames and you're ready to take pictures. The Pentax ME Super was one of the main competitors in the consumer camera market in the late 70s, up against the Olympus OM2 and the Nikon FE. The Pentax was the cheapest and so everybody seemed to own one at the time. I used one for about 10 years and I think it was the most fun camera I ever owned.